If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to the Nutrition Philly Podcast your host, Brittany Kennedy, on the phillytech.org netcast network. And we are live. Hello, and welcome to the first edition of the On Point Nutrition Nutrition Philly podcast. We'll get that little introduction fixed in the in the future. That was a little rough. That yeah. was a little rough. We'll get that. Fixed. <laughs> we'll get that fixed. I'm with Brittany Kennedy, the your host of the Nutrition Philly podcast. Hello, and the owner and CEO and nutritionist of On Point Nutrition, On Point Nutrition.com. Yes. And um, this is her inaugural podcast. Everyone, golf clap, golf clap. Bravo, bravo. So I, I briefed her on, you know, how things go in the network and how, you know, deliveries come and you know, phones ring. And so it adds to the charm of the podcast. Anyhow, let's talk to Brittany. Brittany, who are you? And why should, you know, we, why should we listen to you every other week? Well, I mean, beyond the fact that I'm great. No, yeah. just kidding. But so... I went to college, obviously. I went to Penn State. I have a degree in nutritional science. After college, I worked as primarily a weight loss counselor, consultant for about four or five years for a company, um, and now I've kind of branched out on my own to do my own thing. So she escaped. I escaped, essentially. Yes. So I escaped um, doing things on my own terms now, um, but broadening what I do. So instead of just doing weight loss counseling, I can do nutrition counseling as well for kids, teens, adults, seniors, anyone. So definitely broadens the spectrum of who I can work with and what I have to offer as well. Awesome. So, so what do you offer? So what I do, which is really different than what most people do, is all my counseling is done virtually, right? Mm -hmm. So Very it's nice. all done either yep, it's all done either over the phone or a video chat like you and I are doing right now. Yes. So it means my clients don't have to physically go anywhere to see me. So it's really easy because if I have people who have really busy work schedules or a stay-at-home mom with four kids or someone who's disabled and can't leave their home very easily, it allows them to receive counseling in a very non-traditional setting. Um, so it just makes it easier. And all the materials are online as well. So you get a food guide, um, your food logs, nutrition guide, recipe book, eating out guide. So everything is virtual. Um, as opposed to kind of your traditional setting where you go into an office, sit down with someone, have an awkward conversation for 20 minutes, uh, and then leave. <laughs> I mean, and you can meet Brittany in person. Uh, full disclosure, she is my nutritionist, yeah. and yeah. she's fantastic, and I'm not one bit biased, but, you know. She's also, full disclosure, she's also one of my clients as well, so it's a very cyclical relationship here. Yes. But, uh, so I do do in-person meetings, um, but the majority – of time people don't request them because they just really like the fact that they don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> that's, so, that's always that's always that's always work. That always works. Which always works for people. Yes. So I've done both, you know, either yeah, or. Yeah. So how long have you been how long have you been open for business? Okay, so I've been open since June of this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a concept and in motion since about November of last year. So definitely a good amount of time leading up to it. And then kind of went full force in June. So we've been up June, July, August, September. What, four months? Mm -hmm. Is that four months? Yeah. So it's yourself and your business partner, Doug. And business partner, Doug, yes. So Doug is the back end guy. He makes he all sees the money and like the kind of things about a budget and stuff. Yeah, he does all the boring stuff. He so, does all the boring stuff. And Brittany does all the fun stuff. Yeah. So not that he's not fun, but I've met him. He's a yeah. fun guy. You need someone to do that stuff. You do, and like, um, we're we're very right brain, and you know, we always need a left brain person. Oh, I need a left brain person. Totally. Absolutely, we yeah. all do. So Unless yeah, you're a left brain person, you need a right brain person. So correct. Yeah. 
So been up since June, um, working with about 35 clients right now. That's not bad. That's, 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 yeah. that's nice and new. So, but what's really cool is that my youngest is 16 and oh, wow. my oldest is 76. Oh, so you really range the gamut. Oh yeah, yeah. So when we first went into this, you know, you always have to find like your target market. It's like, all right, who are you gonna who are you gonna work the with all the time? Everybody. I know. So I'm like, who you know? But who's gonna use a virtual service? You know, mm -hmm. so majority of the time, you don't think a 76 year old is going to want to use a virtual service. But then you have to think that 76 year old really can't get around very easily. And so, a 76 year old, you have to remember, our 76 year old is not our grandparents. It's our parents now, and Correct. they're a lot more tech savvy than the previous generation. Mm -hmm. So I keep on remind, I have to constantly remind myself that oh, yeah. seventy six, they're at the Vietnam generation, they're the mm -hmm. boomers. Yeah. So they grew up, you know, in the, the heyday of the computers, so they can usually figure out how to oh, yeah, use they drama. Can, they can hundred percent figure it out. So our grandparents, on the other hand, they do selfies and it's adorable. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So. So yeah, big range of people. So what's and, your plan for, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. So what's go your ahead. plan for this podcast? So plan for this podcast is to just spread awareness, right? But then also provide information to someone who may not feel like they 100% need to have, you know, twice a week accountability and log all their food. And it might not be someone who even really needs to lose any weight. Maybe it's just someone who just wants to be a little bit more health minded and mm -hmm. wants to learn different things, you know, because what I'm looking at of having people come on, I have a really great girl. She's based out of New York and um, Northern PA, but she is a personal chef and a trainer. So she wow. can bring in. Yeah, she's, she's great. Well, she, you want, do you want to give her a shout out? Oh, Chelsea Pagana. She's the owner of Figo. FIGO. Uh, FIGO. Look her up. She's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter everything so she's awesome um, so she'll be on but she can give it a perspective that I can't give you know but she fully understands that nutrition is a really big part of what she does too you know so I have her another guy I'm looking to bring on um, his name's Lou Reese he is a primarily a sports trainer so uh -huh. does a lot of like sports training with high school kids adults pro athletes so whole other spectrum too. So understands nutrition is really important, but dealing with a totally different group of people. Absolutely. So just kind of explaining that nutrition counseling and weight loss counseling isn't just always for someone who needs to lose 80 pounds. You know, mm -hmm. it's for someone who needs to lose 10 pounds, for someone who doesn't even want to lose any weight. Or that just really wants to lose to learn. 20 pounds, exactly. Right, or like you who wants to lose 20 pounds, who needs to learn basic fundamentals, needs to have accountability, you know, exactly. and yeah. Yeah, and needs to learn how to live a normal life, but still achieve their goals. Exactly. Because you know, a lot of times people don't put a, a normal life with losing weight. They think they're two different things. Exactly. So. Yeah, and it can be tough at times. I mean, I can be. I mean, I have a two and a half year old son, a mm -hmm. wife. You know, you know, it's it's tough at times. Yeah. But Brittany, it's nice. I personal personal um um vouch for Brittany is that it's nice to have someone other than your wife. You know, kind of looking at you, saying, "Really, you needed that cookie? You needed that cookie? Like, yeah. really? You wanted that cookie? Maybe, but mm -hmm. should you have had that cookie? How did that affect your whole day?" She holds you to accountable, and she makes you laugh too, which I like. She's yeah, she, I mean, she's fun with you. I mean, there's there's a definite difference in the way that I counsel and the way that I deal with clients because if you go and sit in with a registered dietitian, say and you go into a hospital or a clinic or whatever it is, it's usually pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Um, they give you, you a general outline that, yeah. to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they don't give you accountability. They don't talk to you about why you made the decisions that you made. And mm -hmm. so it definitely is a lot more personalized, and people need someone other than their spouse to keep them accountable. Or their mother. You know? Or their mother, yeah. Like, you know, I am that outside source of accountability that people need. You know, it's, mm -hmm. I don't care about what's going on at home. I don't care about what happened with Johnny at the playground. It's not she'll that I don't- listen to, she, she will listen to you. It's not that I don't care. You know, I will 100% yeah. listen, but my goal is to bring you back to what you need to focus on. It's exactly. Like, okay, I know that this was really stressful today, but I really need to know why you ate that cookie because of it. Because the cookie had nothing to do with why you were stressed out. No. 
you know? And it might so, just be that you wanted that cookie, and that's fine, but you should own up to the fact that you just yeah. wanted that cookie. And, 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 nothing, and there's nothing necessarily cookie. wrong with you eating that cookie. It's just mm -mm. log it. Log it. Log it and say, well, what, how did that screw up my day? Or how? Did, yeah. what did it do to my day? The cookie's fine. It's digested now. You can have it. I'm not going to get get rid of it. Yeah. It's just, but why is it the cookie? It's the yeah. cookie's fault. Because, you know, I'll, I will never sit on the other end of my screen and tell someone that they can't do something. Because the minute you tell someone they can't do something, what do they want to do? They'll go do it. They want to go do it mm -hmm. tenfold, right? So I would never tell someone they can't do something. But I'm going to guide them in a way that they may choose not to do it. You know, yeah, but if they want to do it, yeah, with a little sass. If they want to do it, then no problem. But at least own up to it. And you be know, accountable. If you're gonna, be yeah. accountable for it, yeah. If you're going to have ice cream on Sunday, just write it down. That way I know that you had ice cream on Sunday, and when you do account for the extra carbs and sugar and maybe fat that you ate Sunday on Monday. So mm -hmm. very fluid model. There's okay. no – I try to counsel in a way that there's no black and white, so it's a lot of gray. Mm -hmm. A lot of gray area, which, which, you, which, is, uh, which you can probably appreciate. But then you realize that it's it's a good thing. Yeah, it's it's challenging because people want to be told exactly what to do a lot of times. But that doesn't work. If you're told exactly, I can talk from personal experience. Mm -hmm. If you're told do this, don't do that, and you're like, well, I want that, I'm gonna have that, then that didn't work. Whereas it's like, all right, you had that. Well, then don't eat as many carbs today to count for that. Exactly. It's yeah. about balance, and you know, and honestly, I can't do the balance in my head. I'm like, Brittany, what did I do wrong? Help me here. Clearly, <laughs> clearly. Seth's, Seth's conversations are, I ate too many carbs yesterday. What do I do today now? <laughs> exactly. Let me help. <laughs> yeah. Well, because because it's all virtual, and we do do it on Dropbox. I have constant access to all my clients' food logs, so. If or someone goes, literally goes off, the, I've seen it. It goes to bing, bing, It's crazy. Bing. Yeah, because clients can, they log their food. I get updates when they log their food. They can text me. They can email me. And I talk to them twice a week for 30 minutes. So it's yeah. the one of the most high-touch models you'll ever find. Exactly. But it's very, very beneficial. Yeah, and, and so price-wise, it's, it's actually not, it's also quite affordable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's probably so. one of the more affordable ones. So, exactly. So go to onpoint-nutrition.com. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was blanking on the URL. Even I go there every day. Onpoint-nutrition.com. <laughs> and check it out. It's a gorgeous website. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, it's, it's nice. And then um, I guess check back. At, I mean, our goal for this podcast is every other week. Yeah. That way every Brittany other week. can kind of balance it into her busy schedule. And you can always reach out to Brittany by emailing her where? You can email me at B Kennedy, K E N N E D Y, at onpoint nutrition.com. Yes. Yes. And she'll get back to you if you have any questions and check back regularly on the phillytech.org netcast network. Also, I want to give a quick shout out. If you like to see these shows more often and new hosts and new stuff, please go visit patreon.com, P A T R E O N.com slash phillytechorg. Throw us a little bit of money. That way we can bring people like Brittany on and have great shows. So, and that noise is not a fire engine. It's her. No, fan. it's not a fire engine. It's my computer fan. It's her computer fan. We'll work Apparently on that. Apparently, it's much louder on the other end. Than much it louder on the other end. So, and also we want to hear from you guys. So go to the go to this um, phillytech.org and send us an email, info at phillytech.org, or email me personally at seth at phillytech.org. Let me know what you thought of this first podcast. Let us, let us know what you want to see Brittany talk about nutrition-wise and yes. health-wise. Send and, me an email. Check me out on email Facebook. Email bkennedy at onpoint-nutrition.com. That will come out of my mouth eventually much better. It's a mouthful. <laughs> it is a mouthful. With a dash in there. You have to remember the dash. We'll, we'll change that at some point. But, Don't yeah, check in, and um, we'll see you next week. Not, two weeks from now. Two weeks. Two weeks. All right, everyone. All right. See you later.